Praise God, viewers all over the world. This is Power Master Broadcasting. We have another channel called GEOP, Gibeon Ministries, or GEOP Gibeon Ministries. Subscribe to the two channels, watch the testimonies and the preaching and the teachings. Watch also entertaining movies, comedies, and you will feel fulfilled. Now, I come to give the whole world a message which is very, 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 very important that you're supposed to take note. And if there's not nobody else who knows about this message, tell them to subscribe to the channel and watch the message, which is on this 6th of November, 2023, according to my calendar, 6th of November, 2023. It is around 1.42 p.m. I am Prophet Alexander Okwai. I am made by God to be a problem solver. I am a supernatural channel of God. I am a clerk in the office of God. Jesus Christ is my manager. Now, this 2023, the year of 2023, we are remaining with November and December to finish the year by the grace of God, by the help of the Holy Spirit as in John 14, verse 16. But what you should know, everybody all over the world, it is the year once God wants you to decide and to make a choice. If you want to be on his side or on the side of another God, another strange God, this is the year God wants you to decide. Joshua said, me and my family, we will serve the Lord. So you choose between life and death. You choose God, you choose life. You choose other gods apart from the Jehovah, Yahweh, the I am who I am, you choose death. So if you want to live forever in happiness, in the light of God, choose God. Turn to the other side of God. Receive God. Receive Jesus Christ. Be born again. Follow his rules. Obey him. Be submissive to God. Accept yourself to be used by God. Let your hands be the hands of God. Your eyes be the eyes of God. Your mouth be the mouth of God. Ears be the ears of God. The thinking, the brain be the brains of God. Your legs be the legs of God. Let your whole being be the whole being of God. Be with the character of God, which he has been building to other people who accepted him. Let him start building his character in you. Because, as you see, the Israelites and Palestinians are fighting. Though I'm praying for Israel to have peace and the Palestine to have peace. And Russia and Ukraine and Haiti, I pray for all of them to have peace. I pray for Kenya to have peace. I pray for Uganda to have peace. But all this is a symbol that Christ is around the corner and the world is about to be folded. Let, let God not find you with those uh, idle words you usually speak that hurts other people. Let him not find you making other, busy making other people angry, annoyed, mis misleading them. May the power of God come upon you and help you to make a choice and decision. Because as you see, Jesus is preparing to come. And bad things can happen anywhere. Nobody in Ukraine expected war. Nobody in Israel expected war. Nobody in Palestine expected war. Nobody in Ukraine or Haiti expected war. Nobody in Kenya expected war. You see those war happening. They came unexpectedly. Nobody announced it. So anything can happen and you may find yourself in a wrong, in, in a bad, wrong site or in, a, in the midst of a war 
which comes without knocking. So this year, 2023, before it ends, make a choice. Follow Christ. He said, for God so loved the world. For God so loved prophet Alexander Kwa. For God so loved apostle Alexander Kwa. You can personalize that. John 3.16. That he gave Apostle Alexander Okwayo his begotten son, one and only, Jesus Christ, son of the true living, true living God. Jesus Christ the Nazarene. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Galilean Jesus. That when Apostle Alexander believes in him, or if Apostle Alexander believes in him, he will not perish in sickness, disease, war, crisis. Poverty, rejection, delay, stagnation, setback, nightmare. He will not perish on those things. Losses, premature death. But Apostle Alexander will have everlasting health, everlasting security, everlasting peace, everlasting marriage, everlasting financial breakthrough. Everlasting business breakthrough, everlasting marriage breakthrough, everlasting blessings, everlasting he perfect health from the hands of Jesus, everlasting happiness, everlasting enjoyment, everlasting, everlasting wealth, everlasting farm animals, everlasting lands, plots, vehicles, everlasting everything, and lastly, everlasting life. This is a bonga point. This is a turning point. This is a climax. Listen to this carefully. Please. John 14 verse 16. Our helper is the Holy Spirit. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 16 to 20. Our body is the table of the Holy Spirit. Temple of God. Now. Make the Holy Spirit your senior partner. And everything you do will prosper. God bless you. See you next time. Subscribe to Power Master Broadcasting. Geop Gibeon Ministry. Our church is a Benessa Gibeon Christian Church International. Found in Nairobi, Kenya. At Kwanjenga near AIC, Bethany. When you reach there, just call 254-741-26. Seven five zero four. Gmail Okwayo Alexander at gmail dot com or Alexander Shiriebo at gmail dot com or Alexander Okwayo at gmail dot com. All of those are the address of the apostle. May the anointing of God never leave you. It is so sweet, so nice. It makes you feel good. Powerful, protected, safe, wise. Everything you say, body agrees with it because not you saying. He's the Holy Spirit who's speaking in you until your speeches becomes his speeches. He's the Holy Spirit who's praying in you until his prayer, your prayers becomes his prayers. He's God who, who's, who's preaching in you until your preaching becomes his preaching. Now everybody will agree with your points because it's not your points. God had the body. But he gave us he gave us this body. We can't see him because his body he gave us. So we are using him it according to his will, to his purpose, not to our will or our purpose. He, it is his body. Don't misuse the body of God. Don't think you need people to survive. You need God. Don't do wrong things in order to earn a living, to stand on your own feet, in order to show somebody that you can stand on your own, that you have a right. Stop jealousiness, envy, bitterness, malicious speaking. Stop that. It is hurting you, not God. It is making you trek into darkness where you can't see anything, where you can't know anything. Stop malicious speaking. Me, I stopped and I've seen benefits. So you stop. You have a wife, Teresia Mwendo. Five kids. Healthy, strong, rounded babies. Because of Christ feeds my, my children, my wife feeds me. Because of 
this instruction I'm giving you. Just examine yourself every day with ten commandments, from one to ten. Don't have any other god. Don't do, don't have graven images. Don't worship gods in the sea, the air, or whatever. Don't mention his name in vain. On the Sabbath day, keep it holy. Don't steal. Do not kill. Do not lust. Somebody's property. Don't covet. Don't speak false witnesses. Follow, examine yourself every day when you want to sleep with the Ten Commandments. If there is one you've broken, or two or three, knee down, ask God to give you forgiveness. He will give you. First John chapter 1, verse 19 is faithful. He will give you. Don't ever go to sleep. Don't ever commit a sin and keep quiet, thinking that God will overlook that. It is written, even Satan will not overlook. He will mark it. And when you need God's help, you need to repent. Change your behaviors. That's why, that's why your prayers are being blocked. Change your habits. Change your character. May the character of God be built in you, which will maintain the light of the Holy Spirit in you, which is the power of God. That can perform any kind of miracle you want. For the fire of the Holy Spirit to keep burning in you, you need the light, which is in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18, which is in First Peter. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 19. That light. It is in Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. That light said, God said, let there be light. That light is the Holy Spirit. If it is in you, you will be a fire. Nobody can put a finger on a candle burning or on a burning chimney or on a burning stove or on a burning burner on that, that luminous flame. It will burn you. So when you have the Holy Spirit in you, you are burning. Nobody can touch you and go scot free. They will burn. You will feel duru. What are the pig and duru? The skin of the week. Psalms 105 verse 15. I said, do not touch my name. Do my prophet no harm. So if you have that light, you are untouchable. Your finances are un untouchable. Your stars are untouchable. Your children are untouchable. Your spouse is untouchable. Your future is untouchable. Your ministry is untouchable. Your gifts are untouchable. If you make Holy Spirit your senior partner, he will come into you. Even if you feel your body like this, you will feel it is hot. Not because of the liver generating heat. No, 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 no. Let there be light. God said in Genesis 1, 3. There is light of God in you. That's why you can see. That's why you can live. The Holy Spirit is sent here after Jesus descend, uh, ascending as a helper. He's helping you to live. You can feel his, power, his fire in your body. You are warm. You are warm. And God is for the living, not for the dead. God is inside a living body. That's why you feel heat. Here, there is heat. Your breath is hot. Not because of the liver. Who kept the liver there? God. Containing the heat in you. Generating heat in your body. Who caused it? Holy Spirit. It's the fire in you. Whether you are a born again Christian, or you are a pagan, or you are a atheist, you have the fire of the Holy Spirit in you. You start following the instructions of God. Your fire will not be blare. Your fire will not be dim. Your fire will not be kuzimia zimia. Eh? Popping. At the, like a kifafa, a plebs, a plebs. Your fire will burn constantly. And nobody can touch you and go scot free. Even Psalms 90, chapter 91 verse 7. Thousand will fall on your left. Ten thousand on your right. No harm will come near your tent. No harm will come near your business. No harm will come. Let me pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I commit my viewers and those who have subscribed to this channel, Power Master Broadcasting, and my church members, Ebenezer Benessa Gibeon Christian Church, I pray for them that the most important thing is not to feed the poor and leave them like that. It's not to, to preach and leave and people untouched. It's to feed the poor and grant them Jesus. Make this amount to them. That's the most. John, uh, Luke chapter 4, verse 18, it says, 
that God, Spirit of God is upon me to preach the good news to the poor, not to give the poor food. That is not the, the primary target. To preach to the poor the good news, which will make them, Exodus 23, verse 25, to get food and the drinks, if they know this truth. Now, those who are busy feeding the, the poor, make sure after feeding them, you give them the gospel of Christ Jesus of Nazareth. Let me pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I commit my viewers and my church members and those who are wishing to join us and they are planning to come. And to those who, when I was still in my mother's womb, you, you intended them to be my church members, my followers. You made me a prophet over them. I pray those who will ever be my church members and those who are viewing this channel, whether they are Christian or non-Christian, I pray the move of the Holy Spirit to move in their countries and touch them for deliverance. Touch them for, for healing. Touch them for forgiveness of sins. Touch them for, for recanting. Let them change their ways. Let them choose this year. Jesus Christ. Let them choose the message of the cross. Let them choose God and live. Let them denounce the devil and come out of the grave and come out of the list of those who are to die. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of the true God, because you are helping me. Please, I pray, reach them in Jesus' mighty name. Reach them in Jesus' mighty name. That one who's watching me on the sick bed, that is not where you belong. You are dislocated. You belong with, to, with your family. You belong to go to a certain church, a certain church, whereby it's a living church and worship God there. Fellowships, Sunday services, like as we have Wednesday service at Tisambaka Sakumnambiri, Friday service at Tisambaka Sakumnambiri, Saturday service at Tisambaka Sakumnambiri, Sunday from Sam Tatu Bakasa Saba. That is where you belong. I command you, in the mighty name of Jesus, get out of that bed. Get out of that bed. May the power of the Holy Spirit touch your body, touch your bones, touch your blood, touch your veins, touch your organs, touch your tissues, touch your cells, like it touched the body of Lazaro and he resurrected. Touch the eyes of Batimao and he began seeing. Touch the lamb at the beautiful gate, Acts chapter 3, from verse 1 to 6, and he started walking by John and Peter. Let the power touch you. The angel of God who took Peter out of prison, let the angel of God come and take you out of prison of indebtedness. Indebtedness out in the name of Jesus Christ. Indebtedness out now. Out now. Out now. You speak of divorce, targeting this marriage of this young lady. I command you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave this young lady. Those who want to snatch her, the husband, I command that mission to be aborted in the name of Jesus Christ. You who want to take this wife to steal somebody's wife, that is spirit leading you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command you to listen to the voice of God. Leave that man. Leave that mind. Leave that brain. Leave that instinct in Jesus' mighty name. And you who's planning to overthrow your boss in that company, stop that. God will give your own company in a just way. And that spirit that is bringing that evil thought, I command it out of your life. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. You young man who's planning to abort your child because of economic reasons. That is not the mind of God. That is the mind of Satan. And that mind of Satan, I command it to listen to the voice of God. Leave that lady in the name of Jesus. Leave in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Leave right now. Leave right now from that lady. You mind of abortion, mind of killing a person, so that the spirit of death can come in their family and start killing everybody. I command you to live in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave, Jesus Christ. Leave that lady. Leave that young man, that, that, that lady. In Jesus' name, your person may pray for about us to me. To me, I'm going to pass a dark and say, in Jesus' mighty name, I'm only to me, because 0741, verse 26, 
0741-267504. Do not keep. God will help you make, keep the child. And forgive. Forgive. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God give you the grace to forgive. And you parent, you are like a terrorist to your children. Every small mistake, you beat like you want to kill. You beat, you want to make them fear you more. You become angry out of no reason. You, I'm, talk, not, I'm not talking to you, lady. I'm talking about your husband. And I know you can take this phone to your husband. That spirit that is terrorizing the children in him, I command it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command it to listen to the voice of God. Leave that man in Jesus' name. Leave that man in Jesus' name. You spirit of violence, domestic violence. Leave in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Father. Have the school fees. Have the rent on time before the return. Before the fifth of every month. And have your breakthrough to be rich. God bless you. I'm Apostle Alexander. 0741-267504 in Kenya, Nairobi. You can come and visit our church through that number. God bless you. See you. And watch the next video right now. God will bless you when you watch the next video. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. I leave you the text. You'll be reading that text every day. Isaiah 41, verse 8 to 10. Read it. If possible, reach that in. Read it daily. It will help you.